What is up, everybody? I'm doing something different today in that I am revisiting my pedal board. I've demoed this board before quite a while ago, and the reason I'm revisiting it and doing another video about it is many of you have asked or noticed that I've changed uh, certain things on this board, and you're wondering why, and you've asked if I can do a video about that. Also, I would like to uh, just show you how I'm using the board differently than how I used it before. You know, I think I was using the Petty John as an always on pedal, um, and I use that a little bit differently now. I've changed pedals on the board. So, and I'll put a link to the old video so you can look, but uh, the Koji Comp, uh, that's new. What used to be on there was uh, the Wampler Ego Comp. Uh, the Wampler Ego Comp was great. I just found with the Koji Comp, uh, I was just wanting more character because I was using the Wampler uh, as a really, really transparent comp. And as time went on, I just started leaning towards having a little bit more character, not so transparent, and the Koji Comp uh, fit the bill. Uh, what else changed? Oh, the tuner changed. I had a, a TC a tuner on there, uh, but I switched uh, to the Peterson Strobo Stomp. Now there is a new version of that that I am going to get. I just preferred that over the TC, but they're both great tuners. It's to each his own there. The Blue Note is still on there. I did switch to the Majestic from the 45 caliber, and I think I still had the GTO on there um, for the most part. That's what's changed is the comp changed, the tuner changed, and I have the Majestic instead of the Rocket Pedals 45 caliber. I'll just let you hear, and I actually have a 45 caliber with me, and a, uh, I actually have a Dude set up too, so we can kind of hear the differences. Because um, many guys have asked me, well, why are you using the GTO? Because you were using the Dude quite a bit before, so maybe we can get into that. So what you're hearing right now is uh, the Petty John chime is on. Now that pedal uh, went straight to my board the second I demoed it. This is actually the Mark II now, um, but I have always used it as an always on pedal. Now I'm using it more as an enhancement uh, for when I need it, and that's how I like it the best. It can certainly be used as an always on, but I'm tending more to use it as an enhancer pedal. So for example, right now, that's my D13, uh, my divided by 13 FTR 37, and I'm running that into my universal aux, and the cabinet I'm using is the 4x12 thick cabinet, and I'm using a Royer and SM57 mic combo on that. So you're hearing this without the uh, Petty John chime. What I like to do is, that sounds nice, but I've found that sometimes I just want some more character, especially when I'm tracking on a session. And this is just a quick fix that always sounds great. It's like, oh man, I just need a little something more. And that's where I'll use this. The uh, D13 can get a little bit tubby in the low end. You can hear that. With the chime, it just adds this really rich kind of harmonic to it, but it also tames the low end because I'm able to roll some of that out. So that being said, that's how I'm using it. I don't use it so much as like an overdrive pedal. I use it as an enhancer. I do shut it off now when I turn on uh, other pedals. So the Blue Note, I still basically use the same. It's my neck position, kind of lower gain. For sessions, I will use it as a, a crunch box. Um, sometimes maybe I'll turn down the tone a little bit. Maybe I'll add some low end or the fat. Sounds great for that, but for my thing, I like it as my neck position, kind of low gain breakup. Now, if I hit the that pedal with the Petty John, 
that sounds great too. So it just gives me some tonal variance between the two pedals. Now the next pedal is the Majestic. Now that's different from the 45 caliber. Um, I use that for my, basically my crunch sounds. <laughs> Now I'm kind of torn between the Majestic and the 45 caliber, to be honest with you. They both sound great. I found that the Majestic sat in tracks a little bit better than the 45, and I just so happen to have my 45 sitting here on the desk in front of my trusty iPhone, because I don't have three cameras, so bear with me. Um, Majestic. Here's how the 45 sounds, using it pretty much the same way. Immediately it sounds bigger, but it doesn't have the same mid presence as the Majestic. The Majestic has this kind of softer thing to it, but there's a mid there. And the feel is softer. I'm kind of torn. These will just go back and forth, to be honest with you. Because that sounds great too. It just depends on what you're into. So that's what happened there. Please don't fall over. Um, the GTO, I'm still using it the same. So we've got my blues sound, crunch sound, the majestic, and then the GTO is set up for higher gain solo tones. <laughs> Now I say higher gain, higher gain for me. This is not a ton of gain, but it is for me. You can add even more gain. So that's how I'm using uh, that pedal. Now I've had a lot of people ask, well, why Aren't you using the Dude? I still use the Dude and actually I do go back and forth. The reason the GTO ended up on here is because I liked the GTO with more gain over using the Dude with more gain. So I'll show you what I mean. That's the GTO. I like that amount of gain. If I'm going to do higher gain, here's the Dude pedal. As I slam the headstock of my guitar on the desk. So I like the dude pedal like that. Lower gain. It sounds really good. There's a mid thing there. There's definitely that, I guess, Dumble S quality. When I need more gain though, and I crank it up a little bit, it sounds good to me. I guess it just depends on what I'm doing. I tend to lean towards the GTO for higher gain. And it sounds a little bit bigger, but they both sound great. It's that's so to each his own. It's like, well, what, what are you into? So that's, you know, what's going on between those two pedals. Now the timeline and the Flint, they're just my favorite pedals right now. They're both on and I'm using them exactly the way I always have the timeline. I'm using it as a slap back, the digital delay, just a few repeats, uh, the Flint, just a little bit of reverb. I'm using the eighties verb. So that's what I'm doing with that. Now the Koji comp just has a little more character the way I'm using it than the ego. So that's kind of flat, but what I wanted to be able to do quickly is be able to, if, if I need like a brighter comp sound, just knowing I could throw a switch uh, was great. And it, you know, it added character. It wasn't flat anymore. And that's what I wanted. So that's, that's what that's all about. The volume pedal is not even hooked up. I hate volume pedals and I love volume pedals. I've been through a gazillion different ones. So nobody builds a terrible one, but I, ten, I, I can just wreck any volume pedal. So this one's kaput. Uh, so it's not even in the chain uh, right now. 
Okay. Okay. This board's going to get rebuilt. Here's what I know for sure, but I also want to see or, yes, yeah, see because I can't hear you, but I can see what you type. Uh, I want to see what you guys think I should do. When I have the means to acquire one, I'm going to get a Line 6, uh, the HX. That's going on there for sure. That's probably going to replace these two pedals, but these two pedals are not going to go away. This pedal and this pedal, well, this one is probably going to end up in the effects loop of my Friedman uh, BE100 Deluxe. Uh, the flint will just always be with me. That may go on the board. It just depends on how things sound uh, with the uh, the Line 6, the HX. Where things are going to probably change is I'm not sure on my, uh, especially my high gain pedals, what I might do. Uh, what's going to go on there for sure is the Petty John's going on there. Uh, the Majestic will probably go on there. There'll be a new tuner. I'm probably going to switch, in all honesty, when I can afford one, to the Origin FX uh, Deluxe uh, Cali 76. I think that's a great compressor. I think that's going to be the one. Famous last words, but that's where that's going. But I, I would love to put a really great uh, Tychobra style uh, octave pedal on there. I'm not really into fuzz pedals. I need to pick out a higher gain pedal. It might end up just being the GTO again, but I'm going to go through. I, you know, I've demoed a lot of them, so I'm going to go through some pedals. But at the same time, I'd like to uh, see what you guys think for a high gain pedal. Um, a new volume pedal. Talk to me about volume pedals, people. Um, I, I've done Goodrich's, Dunlops, Ernie Balls. Um, I know there's a bunch of them out there. So if you guys have a suggestion, I'd love to hear it. And, you know, talk to me about the Line 6 stuff. Like, I could put an HX Stomp on there, but I like to have things in front of me. And that's why I'm going with the bigger HX, because I, I just want that stuff to be right in front of me. So if I want to turn on a trem and a verb and a reverse delay and maybe another delay at the same time really quick. I can just do it. It's right there in front of me. I really appreciate you guys sitting through this more kind of vlog style video. I just would rather do this than than type a bunch of answers. And I thought, you know, maybe you guys would find it uh, interesting, hopefully. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Hit that, uh, you know, like, ring the bell, all that, all that stuff really helps me to be able to uh, stay at this. Um, so yeah. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.